here we are, first day of 2021. Most people have been looking forward to this day for about six months. With everything that's happened in 2020, it's not hard to see why. Coronavirus, a contentious election season, social upheaval, and the continuing polarization of America have all wrecked peace of mind for a lot of folks. Today we're going to look at a couple of verses from the Bible to give us some encouragement for this new year. Hey there everyone, my name is Dwayne Bryant. It's great to have you with us again. If you like this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button and if you click the bell, you'll get a notification by email every time I post something new. Well, we all know that things aren't going to magically change just because it's January 1st of a new year. But this time of year does give us an opportunity for a fresh start. It might be somewhat artificial, but sometimes we need that. You know, we need a feeling of having something new, a clean slate, the opportunity to turn over a new leaf. So with that in mind, let's look at some verses and commit ourselves to putting these things into practice starting today. 1 Corinthians 16 verses 13 and 14 tell us, Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. Well, this is important advice for all of us. You know, we might be tempted to think that we've got it bad right now, but I don't think there's anything that we could point to as a problem area that the early Christians didn't have it worse. You know, we might think of coronavirus endangering small businesses, but social pressure did this for Christians regularly in the first and second centuries. You know, we might think of criticism of Christianity in today's world, but at least we're not accused of the same things that early Christians were. You've got incest, cannibalism, posing a danger to national security. Well, we still live in a country that mostly respects Christianity. In the first century, Christians were seen as dangerous, weird, and subversive. So let's keep our blessings in mind and let's think about what the Apostle Paul said. First of all, he said, be watchful. You know, there are agents in our culture who will try to sabotage biblical Christianity. I'm thinking especially of people who try to overwrite biblical morals. One example is a woman named Nadia Boltz Weber who wrote a book called Shameless that was an attempt to loosen biblical morality concerning sexual behavior. In her view, almost anything goes, at any time, with anyone, as long as you're not hurting anybody. Well, we could look at other things written by progressive Christians like a man named Brian McLaren that basically ignore scripture entirely unless it just happens to be serving your purposes. So there's no shortage of people trying to undermine biblical Christianity in our world, and we have to be watchful. Now, Paul also says, stand firm in the faith. If the Bible is truth, then anything that disagrees with it is a lie. And we have to take all of it. It's not like a Chinese buffet where we can just take what we like and pass over what we don't. It's not just the truth, but the complete truth, relevant for every time, every age, and every person. The Bible calls us to stand firm for this truth. So we should do it. Then the Apostle Paul says, act like men, be strong. Christians have to be a people of strength and conviction. It's this conviction that transformed the Roman Empire. It brought an end to infanticide and elevated the status of women in the ancient world. In the last two centuries, Christians were at the forefront in bringing an end to slavery, and it continues to offer hope and transform lives today. A weak Christian is not going to help bring the kind of change that our world needs, so we have to be strong. Finally, Paul says that whatever we do should be done in love. Now, we don't behave like Christians to earn favors from God or obligate him or other people to do something for us. We should be altruistic, always looking to benefit the lives of other people wherever and whenever we can. This might mean sharing the gospel with them. It might mean giving them a phone call because they've been lonely during quarantine. It might mean encouraging them and telling them that they're still loved maybe even when they're saying goodbye to someone for the very last time. Christians have always been known as a people of love. From ancient pagans to modern critics, you and I still impress people around us by how much we care about others. Now, there are a lot of good things going on in our world. 
more light is being shed on problem areas in our society. If we work like Christians, we can help solve those problems for future generations. Christianity is growing around the world. More people are seeing the light of the gospel than ever before. And there's good news on other fronts as well. Atheism is shrinking, maybe by as much as 50% in the next few decades. Islam is claimed to be the world's second largest religion, but it is secretly imploding thanks to the internet. So, everyone, make 2021 a great year. And you can, if you'll be watchful, stand firm, be strong, and do everything in love. Christianity has had a habit of making people better, and this year will be no exception. Thanks for spending a little bit of your day with me. See you next time.